Hello, it is Wednesday, January 3rd, 2024. Back here for Daily Shakeup number 834. And today I want to talk about your leadership mission. For some of you, this might be unfamiliar or maybe not familiar in the way we're going to talk about it. What it's really about is being intentional about the kind of leader you want to be, what you want to create through that type of leadership, that chosen approach to leadership, commitment to leadership. So it becomes not fully objective, but a lot more measurable and clear in what you're seeking to create and what ways you're going to be as a leader. Not Notice not necessarily things you're going to do, but ways you're going to be as a leader in order to create that outcome typically some form of culture, especially if it's in the leader or the business setting. There's a process for this. I'd be happy to walk you through it. It's a great approach for your team. Let me know. I'd be happy to work with your team uh, and just put that, help you put that together. But I wanted to share as an example so you can see what it looks like. Um, one version of my leadership mission. And I say one version because I've got a personal mission. This is the thing that resonates for me right now in terms of my leadership which is really not necessarily limited organizational, but certainly focused on organizational or team leadership. And it looks like this. I create a culture. Notice it's an affirmative statement. I create a culture of safety. This is really about psychological safety, empowerment, courageous action, and growth, personal growth, professional growth. And I do this, I create this by being present, by encouraging others, which is often about um, blessing feedback, and by modeling vulnerability. Now, there's a lot of other things that I do as a leader and I seek to do, and there's a lot of other outcomes. For example, you don't see trust listed here, even though I believe trust is the foundation of any team and organization. But I believe that when I help co-create a culture of safety, psychological safety, empowerment, courageous action, and personal growth, that's going to also result in a, a trusting environment, a trusting culture. Because we could spend pages of all the things we want to create, but I love the idea of a crisp statement that claims, this is a claiming, it's a commitment, that this is what I create. This is what I'm going to create, what kind of culture, and here's how I'm going to create it. And it allows me every day to look in the mirror and ask myself, where did I live this today and where did I not? Where did I help create this? Maybe where did I not create it or did I discouraged it? It's also great to share your leadership mission with your team members, the people you work with, so they can give you feedback on where they see you shining and where they see you maybe stumbling from time to time. When you come up with this mission, it should really feel good. It should feel powerful and perhaps even a little scary. Because there should be one voice that says, you know what, I do that. And another voice that says, you can do better. Because that's what growth is about. It's about growing, but this is a way to claim a target, an intention, a purpose around your leadership. That's what I'm going to share today. Happy to answer any other questions. Look forward to your feedback. I look forward to seeing and hearing and reading about your leadership mission. That's it for today. Keep taking care of yourself and everyone around you. And stay connected.